Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will see how we can use the new card visual, which is an improvement from the previous one. It offers us more customization to make your reports more readable and more pretty. So let's get started. First, I'll go here and you will see that new card visual is appearing. I will click here. Let's start creating one for our status. So what I'll do is in the data, I will bring status. Now here you will see let me just bring it up. Going back here, we will make it count and we will add filters on this visual. So this visual, we want the ones that are in progress. So I will select in progress and I will also keep on card. So this is count. So we have nine projects that are in progress or are on track. We will change the name to in progress, let's say. Now let's format this. So in the layout, you can change the layout if you want. I will not do that. In the callout values, let's bring it in the middle. We can change the color to yellow if there is any blank we can select it it will be look it will look like this in the labels we will make it bold and you can also change the color and how you want it above or below let's make it below the space between labels text wrap in the layout we'll keep it middle you can also add a reference label here if you want for example we can bring the location i will remove it for now but you can add if you want in the images you now in this new card visual we can also add images so let's add one i will browse and let's see if i have anything for all progress so let's use this and we will change the size to let's say 56 i will bring it to the left let's decrease the in fact we can increase the size here let's make it 75 or 70. you can also make other changes if you want transparency position we have already done how it will look now we will modify the card so in the card you can see the series we are using the in progress one we can change the shape if you want it rounded how round you want the columns to be you can also customize it the padding background let's add a background here and you can also add a background image if you want the borders we will make them dark we can also increase the width also if you want any shadow if you want the glow you can also modify them further you, we can also add an accent bar let me show you how it looks so we can increase the width so this is the accent bar appearing here. We can bring it at top. So now we have created a card visual. You can use these to show sales number. We got, you can also further add tool tips to it. And it will make your, it will highlight your data. It will make it more readable. I hope this tutorial helped you. And do keep watching for more. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.